Hello and welcome back to Lord Fat Gaming Plays Never Went to Night's Hands Edition Hordes of the Underdark. I'm your host, Lord Fat, in this final Never Went to Night's Hands Edition Hordes of the Underdark video. We're in chapter 3 this time, we're going to finish it and obtain the ending. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be updated more. Let's go ahead and free the knower names. Now, I'm going to go ahead and first show you how to actually get the cap bowl here. This is the actual key to actually free the knower names. So let's uh, go uh, this way. This is the direction you want to go. Now, before, if you uh, decide to cross this during the battle, you would have noticed a catapult there. Well, guess what? We're able to now do it. Now, you're going to need a Sensei's amulet. This is very important in order to get that catapult there. Otherwise, you're not going to progress. Well, I think you should have it anyways because you have to progress with that Sensei's amulet. So I'm going to get close on by and then I am going to go ahead and show you the cutscene of the uh, Earth ML throwing the catapult. Now, the catapult is definitely across, so change back into your humanoid form. And I'm going to go ahead and use the demon's hand, and voila, we have made it across, everyone. So, let me explain about the catapult right now. The correct solution is exactly at 12 o'clock. Now, I'm just going to show you why, what happens if you uh, point at the other uh, areas. Yeah, there are prisoners in there, not the good kind. The ones that actually do belong there, so... I'm going to go ahead and just fire just to show you how it works. Now there will be a little cutscene every time. So see, we just did a blast. And we have to wait for it. Looks like there's nothing there. So we could just go move it on. Yeah, I had the wrong way. And Deacon will interact saying he wants to fire the catapult. It's uh, pretty funny, everyone. Still, if you uh, need any experience points, this is a great time to get the last minute experience points. Other than that, I'm going to probably advise definitely right now just to say... Yeah, just go for the 12 o'clock and then uh, free the knower names. And I'm going to go ahead and fight this uh, monster. It's not that hard. Yeah, it's a devil prisoner. And I'm just doing right, using right now my uh, shadow dancing moves. Yeah, I'm trying to, but he keeps on missing me. So that's a good thing. Uh, a few more hits and voila, and it's goodbye. So anytime you free a prisoner by mistake, you can't use the catapult until you defeat said prisoner. And the drop the... Uh, this creature has uh, is about 4k-ish or so gold, so yeah, if you need money, that's a great time to do it. Now, I'm going to advise saying uh, right now is, is uh, if you need to sell any last minute items and you have the genie's bottle, go ahead and use it. Other than that, whatever you have on you, well, it sees how much you get to uh, buy certain things. So, there's another uh, demon, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take it out. And good thing Arabeth right now is fighting. Yeah, Arabeth was pretty uh, buggy even with the uh, patch as of uh, of July. Yeah, it was uh, still buggy. I mean, I was not happy at all. It's one of few uh, quirks in the Enhanced Edition. Now, you're playing the old school Neverwinter Nights or it's the Iron Dark 1.69. You're fine. And it looks like I accidentally summoned the demon or devil. This is going to be my last devil to fight. I just want to show you how uh, you can get some uh, cheap money and, uh, of course, experience points, too. Also, uh, get that frustration now after uh, the uh, path of the uh, Guardian, the gar the, yeah, that one boss. I'm just doing it anyway. So, there you go. That's the last one. So, let me go ahead and explain why I have so much money and I uh, forego some uh, key sac uh, what we call upgrades. Here's the reason. The uh, key reasons are simple. There are two names I'm buying. The knower names and Melistopheles. Now, in order to uh, bypass the entire boss fight, you're going to need exactly 600k worth of gold. 500k for the knower names and 100k for Melistopheles. You can't just get Melistopheles' name until uh, you force the knower names to actually uh, give you the name after you uh, know her uh, name. So, I'm going to turn this the right way. And, and of course, I'm going to try and make this... Uh, Last boss fight, much, much easier. Yeah, in the uh, past, I actually uh, fought Mel Stop Police not once, but twice. As a Paladin and my Blackguard. It was fun, though. I mean, it was a good fight. 
And I'll even uh, lay down the tactics that once we uh, get back to our uh, location, we could uh, upgrade some weapons too. So we're going to go ahead and do this one more time, and I'll see you all when this is done. Now we are back at the Sleeping Man's Temple. Unfortunately, we lost the Sleeping Man's Ring and the Sensei's Amulet, so we won't be able to use those again. Great news is I leveled up. I believe I am. Let me see the numbers exactly. Uh, level 27. Oh, wow. That's a lot of experience points I uh, gained for myself. That's a good thing. That's uh, really good. Still, this is like optional at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and level up, and then after I am done uh, picking out my skills for one last time, 
and also the feet. I try to remember. Oh yeah, I was uh, going for dexterity. Yeah, I uh, did was a uh, thirty yard uh, dexterity uh, with a few uh, items I buffed up myself, so that's a good thing. And once I am done, I am gonna go ahead and show you how to get a very nice cloak. Now this cloak would have been extremely useful in the deepest of Canna. In other words, yeah, I would have been taking less damage, or I gave it to Deacon. Yeah, so here's how you actually get the cloak. Uh, let me go ahead and equip the uh, ring. I'm going to go ahead and uh, equip that uh, nice uh, ring of protection plus six. There's no more battles here anyway, so we might as well uh, do it. And we're going to enter this uh, door. So there you go. Now, in order to get the ring, you need the demon's hand. We couldn't get it earlier in this uh, chapter due to the fact we didn't have it. Now, it, this one's a bit aimy, so you got to aim this right. Move yourself in a nice position. So let me go ahead and do it. And let me uh, make sure I do this right. And there you go. It's inside this treasure chest. And grab the other stuff too. And voila, we uh, did it. I'm going to go ahead and give you all the tactics on how to defeat Metastopolis in case you uh, didn't have enough money or if you didn't feel like uh, buying his name to uh, banish him to get to the end. The final boss, if you do, do decide to fight him, well, his uh, weakness is acid. So if you have any acid, Acid spells, even uh, a powerful elemental that's water that has drowned, that works too. I heard he's uh, resistant to, I think, slash. Blunt weapons work also. He's very tough. At certain points, he'll uh, disappear. You have to take out uh, the proper elementals. Once that is uh, done, then he'll come back. You have to rinse and repeat. He gets more frantic, and then he'll uh, disappear again. Some more elementals, and when he's at the last part, well, guess what? It's toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and if you defeat him, you get a choice of to either uh, banish him, kill him, or something else. But for now, I'm going to do right now is go ahead and uh, prep up. So I'll uh, definitely uh, see you all when I am back. And yeah, I'm just doing this for uh, fun, by the way. I'm going to show you what I could uh, enchant now. Now, this is your very last chance to get some enchantments or anything else done. If you need to buy any potions, well, do that too. So I'm going to show you as a reminder where you get some nice potions if you actually uh, did a quest for a certain uh, demon. And I uh, put uh, plus eight on my weapons in case I do uh, screw up the uh, speech, but I didn't still. It was nice for me to actually do. Now in the future, if I ever uh, play this character again, well, all I'll uh, do is uh, enchant one weapon to 10 and then save the rest of the money. So as soon as I talk to the Reaper, I'm going to go ahead and start the entire sequence, including the dialogue and the ending. I'll return after that. Hail the dead. How may I serve you, sojourner?
And so the tale is done. In the lore of an age that was famed for its heroes as well as its villains, your legend will live on. Scribes will read of your deeds in dusty tomes and marvel that ever there was a time where such an adventurer walked the face of Toro. It is said that the archdevil Mephistopheles abandoned his war of conquest, his desire to subjugate the mortal realms foiled by his defeat at your hands. He fled the world of Toro, never to return. Such tales rarely end so easily, however, and future stories claim that Mephistopheles spent much of his future consumed with the desire for revenge upon the one who humbled him. Whether his plots proved successful, however, or whether you vanquished him again, as you had the first time, is another tale. Knowing how the tale ends, however, is only part of the story. There is evidence in the old tomes that tell of your fate in the years to come, the fate of your companions, and the effect your passing had upon the world.
So here's my uh, final thoughts about Neverwinter Nights Hanson Edition Hordes on the Iron Dark after that wonderful ending. The uh, downside was the music. I had issues with the uh, music keep on going, so I had to turn down in some of the videos, unfortunately. Yeah, it kept on blurring thanks to a few patches. Now, Arabeth was buggy in combat. Sometimes she didn't get into combat. Her uh, model was a little bit ghost-like thanks to a few patches ago. Messed things up. Yeah, that's the downside. Now, the upside was the story was wonderful and great. Chapter 1's uh, Dungeon, The Undermountain. That was a great refresher course, getting some loot. And I wouldn't mind exploring that in the future in, in any other games. As for Chapter 2, some of the best fights were there, like the Draco Lich, the uh, Demi Lich, and any other foes I faced in my way. Even the Valshal Rest 101 was wonderful, uh, too. Chapter 3 was very challenging and fun. Some of the puzzles were good, like the Mimic one. I love the amulet stuff. Now, the uh, best part of Hordes of the Iron Dark was the ending. Yeah, because of my choices throughout the expansion, it came into play. This was DNA for uh, games like Mass Effect, Jade Empire, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, and Dragon Age. So, that's it for Neverwinter Nights Hordes of the Iron Dark. My next project will be uh, Neverwinter Nights Hands Edition, which is Wicked. Yeah, we're starting the uh, Diamond Premium modules. Well, everyone, thank you for uh, staying with me on this journey from one video or the entire series. This is my last and final Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition Hordes on the Dark video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching. You all have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the like button and the bell on the top of your screen. If you enjoy my videos, watch the one I suggested on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion of my videos on the bottom left hand corner. Thank you for watching everyone.